Welcome to SeedProd. I'm going to show you in this video how to set up a registration event form for our event website that we created in part one. We have another video right before this. I'll leave a link in the description to that video where we created this website using SeedProd where we can set up our event and provide lots of information and then we'll set up a place for people to register for this event right now. So we use SeedProd. It's the number one drag and drop WordPress website builder. You can build just about any type of website without any code. Again, check out that first video link will be in the description and you'll end up with a website similar to this. What we want to create is a registration form on a page. We'll set up its own page as well. And we'll be using WP forms to set that up. Right now, if I come back to my WordPress dashboard and on the left-hand side, I have plugins, installed plugins, and currently I just have SeedProd Pro. There's nothing else set up on the website. Go ahead and head over to wpforms.com or click the link in the description below. And you can click on get WP forms and select the account that makes the most sense for you. I'm going to be using the pro version for this video. After you have an account, let's click on login. On the left-hand side, enter your email address and your password and click login next i want to click on the downloads tab here it's the second from the left and we'll go ahead and click on the orange button here to download wp forms we also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner let's click that little icon to copy that to clipboard and we can close this tab I have the website open here as well. I'm just gonna close this for now, we don't need that. And back on the plugins page here, I'm gonna to go to add new. You can click the button at the top there as well. Right here we have upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on this. And we have the choose file. You can click on choose file and select that zip file from wherever it downloaded onto your hard drive. Or if you're using the same browser as I am, you can click and drag this and drop it and click install now. Let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And now we can see a welcome to WP forms with some information here on getting started. On the left hand side, let's go to WP forms and go to settings. And here we see a place to put in our license key. We can go ahead and paste that right here and verify key. You should see a green success message pop here and click OK. Right now, let's go ahead and set up our actual form on the left hand side under WP forms. Let's click on add new and you can give your form a name. I'm going to leave this empty. It's going to fill it out for us on the left hand side here. Let's look for maybe online event. And we can see different options here. We have an online event registration RSVP form. The one we're gonna be using is this one here, online event registration form. Let's go ahead and click on use template. And WP forms comes with a drag and drop form builder. So you can easily create your forms using all of the options here on the left-hand side. So for example, if you want a multiple choice option, you can just click on that and it'll appear in your form here. Right now, because we use the online event registration form, we can see that there's a lot of different fields here that were automatically added and it's set up for us, which is fantastic. So we have the name, username and email and password if you require that, a short bio if you require that. If you don't need any of these, you can go ahead and delete these. Let's say the short bio, we don't need that. Here's the registration address of the person, their phone number. How did you hear about us? Uh, if other field here, if it was a different way the number of tickets and the company if they work for a company. On the left hand side here, we can add fields here. We have standard fields. We have fancy fields, everything from rich text to signatures and hidden fields. And at the bottom, we have payment fields here as well. Let's say the tickets aren't free right here. We already have a ticket set up. Let's go ahead and delete this one and I'll show you how to add a payment option for say PayPal or Stripe. We have single item or multiple items. Let's go ahead and click on multiple items and this will add this field to the bottom. We just simply click on this. You'll see that it updates on the left hand side here with all of the different options. We can rename the label here. Maybe we can just say tickets and we can say how many tickets. So for one, two or maybe three and maybe three can just be the maximum. If you want more, you can add more fields here as well. Let's say one ticket, two tickets and three tickets. And then you can set your prices, maybe 20. Maybe you get $5 off for the second one. And then for three, maybe you'll get $10 off. Here we can't see the prices. So we actually have a little toggle here. If we click this, now they can see the prices here when they're selecting it. And you can use images if you want to for each choice here, which is great. I'm gonna turn that off for this option though. Also have a little bit of a description here, select. Great, and you can make this required. So tickets would probably be required for your event. And once you're happy with everything, all of the different labels, the options, you just simply again, click on these and update the information on the left-hand side. You can see that right here. Let's go ahead and save this and we can head to the left-hand side for the settings. And here we have general settings, notification and confirmations. Under general, we have the form name. I'm just gonna leave that. It's very descriptive and I know what it is. For the form description, you can add more details here if you like. You can add tags if you have lots of different forms. Maybe that'll be helpful. We have the submit button text. Let's change this to register. And we have the submit button processing text. So when people click the register button, it can change until it's processed. 
we could do something this simple, say, please wait one moment or please wait. You can enable the anti-spam protection, a Kismet anti-spam protection if you like. And we have some advanced options here. Just click this to toggle that on and off if you want to enable any of this. Great, we also have notifications on the left-hand side. So every time that a form is submitted, this will send you an email. You can change the email address here. The admin email is what's ever set inside of the WordPress settings. The email subject line is a new entry has signed up for the online event registration form. It says who it's from. So this is just our website name right now. This is what I'm using. You can change this to whatever you wish. The from email. And then down below here, we have a reply to an email message. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this. On the left hand side, we have confirmations. We can click here and this will just be the way that you notify the person of signing up to the event. So for example, right now the default is to show a message. Thank you for registering. You could show a page. So right now here's a list of all of our pages currently. You could have a thank you page or some other type of registration page. We also have the go to URL so you can redirect them somewhere else manually. I'll just leave this to message for now. It'll show this and it'll automatically scroll to the confirmation message for you. Once you're happy with everything, let's save this. And then on the left hand side, you can click on marketing and set up any of your favorite third party marketing services here. For example, we have Constant Contact, Uncanny Automator, and all of these different options here. On the left-hand side, we can set up our payments that we enabled with the tickets earlier. Now we need a way to process them with some type of billing processor. So we have Authorize.net, PayPal, Square, and Stripe built in here. So for example, if you want to use PayPal, click on PayPal Standard, and it's going to ask you if you want to install the PayPal Standard add-on. Let's go ahead and do that, install and activate. It's going to ask you to save and refresh. Let's go ahead and do that. And now we can see that it's not grayed out anymore. Let's go ahead and click on this and we can enable PayPal standard payments using the toggle. Right here, we need to enter a PayPal email address. This is for your business email. So maybe it's something like payments at example.com, whatever you have set up with PayPal. And the different modes here. So in production is when you would take actual payments from the person signing up to your event. Or if you want to test it first, you can put it in test sandbox mode. Here you can select the payment type. So it's either products and services or donation. I'll leave it on products and services. The cancel URL. So you can put a custom URL in here. If somebody cancels that transaction, you can redirect them here. We also have shipping. Ask for an address, but do not require. You can select don't ask for address or ask for address and require it. I'm going to say don't ask. We don't really need that. And we already asked it on the actual registration form as well. You also have down here to toggle on enable conditional logic as well. So again, maybe there's a certain company or you're affiliated with a company that already paid in bulk or there's some other agreement and they don't have to pay again, but they still need to register individually. You could say don't process if a email contains a certain business. So maybe example.com. So, or even students for a university or whatever you wanted to set up. You have lots of different options here for different conditions. You even have the company here as well. So maybe they could put the company name and then we can go ahead and save that and they will not be processed for the payment. Great, let's go ahead and preview this and you can see that it shows us a preview. Lots of blue going on here. We could change that in a minute. This is our default page, so it doesn't really look that great, but I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Let's go back and we can close this out. Here, if you come under all forms, under WP forms, you'll see this page here. You can see the one form that we created was online event registration form. You have different options to edit the entries, preview, duplicate, and trash. So here we have the short code here. Let's go ahead and copy this. You can copy it later if you like. I'm just gonna grab it right now as we will need that for later. All right, so let's come over to pages here and I'm gonna add new and I'll just call this one register. And instead of using seed prod, you can actually combine them. Since seed prod is being used to create a theme, it already has your header and your footer set up to appear on all pages. Let's go ahead and we can just add here. If we add a block, we can search for WP forms who have a block built in. You can also use the short code as well, which we just copied. I'm gonna go with WP forms, select this, and then it's going to ask you to select a form. We'll pick this one and you can see that form is right here into our page. You can add other content as well around it using the block editor if you wish. We can go ahead and publish this and preview this. Now this probably won't look very good. It looks a lot like the preview there because on all of our pages we have a custom header here that we're using. You can see that this is different. So this is the default header that we haven't really been using very much. Okay, great. So let's actually customize this by using seed prod. Let me close this tab at the bottom. And let's come back. We can just delete this and get rid of it. And I'm going to update this page and let's go ahead and edit with seed prod. So here you'll see the same thing. We have a header here that we don't want to use. So what we'll do is we'll use a condition to hide this one and we'll import the other one. So let's go ahead and to save some time, I'm going to show you a little trick here. 
Let's go back and we actually like the header, for example, on the partners page. So we want this exact one. So what we can do is come back to our pages, all pages, and we have partners here. We can go to edit with seed prod and let's select the whole section here. That's that purple part. So we can select that whole thing. And right here is an option called save section. Let's click on this to save it. And we can name this maybe custom header or whatever you wish. And we'll go ahead and save that template. Now we can go ahead and close out and come back to the pages, all pages, and we can select the register page. Let's go to edit with seed prod. Now on the left hand side, we have blocks and sections. Let's go ahead and show sections. And right here we have saved. Let's click on this and we have custom header. Let's go ahead and add this in. And you can see that that was added. This section here, let's just go ahead and delete this and we can change the text here to register. We also have a background image here that we can click on. We can delete this one and use a stock photo and I'll just search for it, maybe biking. And I'll just pick this image right here. Again, you can change the custom positioning here, however you like, whatever makes sense for you. Something like this is fine and great. We're going to hide this header in a bit for right now for while we're editing the page, we can just hit the eyeball here just to close that so we can focus on the page. At the bottom of this section, I'm going to hit the plus sign here to add another section and we can hit the add columns and you, we can put that event registration form that we created in any of these columns. So we have complete control over the layout. So for example, let's pick this one with the two columns with a sidebar. And on the left hand side, we can click here. And I'm going to look for the short code block so we can use the search here and drag that right in here. When I click here, I'm just going to paste that short code from earlier. We can see it's the WP forms ID mine is 93. Your number may be different. We can show the short code preview. And there we go. Now our registration form should show here on the left hand side in this column. We also have the right hand side so we can go back to our blocks clicking here, get rid of the search here. And now you can put any type of content in that right box that you like. If we scroll down under advanced, we have template parts. This would be great if you already set up, for example, a sidebar. So here we have a sidebar template and you could just click on this and it'll import all of that from the sidebar template. And you could just manage this all in one place. We can go ahead and select the actual column here as well. So I'll select the toggle here for the right column. And now we can just put a light background on that just so it sticks out just a little bit more. And we can come under advanced. We have border and border radius. Maybe we could put a little bit of curvature here on the corners. And I'll just leave it simple like that for now, just as the example. Just keep in mind that you can add any type of content here on the right side, any of these type of blocks that we have with the standard and the advanced and even WooCommerce if you have WooCommerce installed. Let's go ahead and save our page here and we can actually preview this. And there we go, this is looking good. We can see obviously that we don't want this top header right here that we created, but you can see everything is looking really quite nice. Maybe add a little bit of spacing here. You can add some text maybe for the form itself, but overall it's looking good. Say we don't want the blue text or it's too much, we can come back and go to the global settings here. And it looks like under colors, we actually set all of our text to this blue color. Let's bring that over and we can select maybe a dark gray and we'll save that. And if we refresh our pages here, all of that text has now become a dark gray that we can see. And we have our registration page here that we have the preview where that went black as well. Our links and headers are still blue, which we could change if we wish. Let's go ahead and use a condition to change this. Again, keep in mind that you can completely change the design of this page to create it however you wish. Let's go ahead and close this one here. And I'll come back to seed prod dashboard. And we want to come under seed prod and theme builder. So all we need to do is add a condition to hide our main header on that new page that we created. So if we see header here, we have certain conditions here. Let's edit the conditions. And right now we have it excluded on all of the pages for about contact and partners. We can add another one here. Now, if you wish, you could exclude it from all pages completely if you like. And now I can just select one here, pages, and we'll just type in register. That's the name of the page that we created. Save this. And now when we view that register page, it should be gone. One more thing that I just want to do quickly We'll preview that is add register up in the menu bar here. So here we have a header section. Let's go ahead and edit this design. And right now it's white on white, so we can't really see it. But we can add an item here under the simple menu. Let's go ahead and call this register. And the link would be a forward slash register. Let's move this up maybe a little bit closer. We can put that to the second link so it's more in your face a little bit. And we'll save this and we'll close out. So now we'll refresh our home page. We should see a new link here for register in our menu. This is a simple menu for our header section. 
when we click here, we can see that that old menu is gone that we didn't want to show for our page. We have this custom header that we're using. And now it matches the rest of the pages as well, as you can see. And now we have our WP Forms registration event form embedded into our page directly where we have full control over the design and layout. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to add a event registration form to your event website. Please remember to check out part one, link in the description for that. And check out this video on how to create beautiful image galleries in WordPress, as well as how to create waitlist landing pages. You might find those videos helpful as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.